Hello everyone, it's VC Alper here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix server issues for the game GTA 5. A lot of users have been complaining about this issue lately because Epic Games has made this game free for all. So if you are also facing this problem, then I've got three workarounds for you. But first of all, I would like to tell you that if the server is down because Rockstar's game server is down right now, in that case, you can do nothing but wait for the servers to get up. But if there is something wrong with your PC's configuration files, then only these all workarounds, all these three workarounds will work. So please note, if the Rockstar game server are currently down, in that case, I can do nothing. But if the Rockstar servers are up and still you are experiencing server issues, in that case, all these things will work. So let's get to the first workaround without any further ado. So the first thing is clean booting your PC. It is really, really important to clean boot your PC if you're experiencing, experiencing server issues. It will give your PC a fresh start, reload all the PC's component. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I made a separate 2 minute 45 seconds guide on how to do so. I will provide you the link of this video in the description of this video. And as you can see, it has some decent reviews, around 70,000 views with 689 likes and only 73 dislikes. So you can trust this video. And after that, once you have clean booted your PC, you can proceed to the second step. And second step is again an important one. And this I'll be showing you what you have to do with the help of screenshots. And in the third step, I'll be actually showing you what to do. So the second step is, uh, let me scroll into my screenshots first. And here they are. So first thing what you can do is just go to your games directory and here look for a file name dinput8.dll. As you can see here, dinput8.dll. So uh, once you right clicked on it, you just have to delete it. You have to do nothing and just delete this file. Once you have deleted it, as you can see, I have deleted it. After that, you have to just try running your game. Your Rockstar Social Club will load and after that, most probably your problem will be fixed. But if your problem is still not fixed, then there's the last thing you can do and that works for most of the users. You can forward your port. So if you don't know how to forward your port, it's really easy. So here, as you can see, this is an article by support.rockstargames. Here they have mentioned that GTA Online requires the following ports to be open. And now you must be wondering how to open your ports. So it's really simple. You just have to search for advanced firewall settings as you can see windows Defender firewall with advanced security once you open this you will be redirected to this page and here you have to select inbound rules and then inbound rules click on new rule and here click on port and click next here we have two options tcp and udp so here they have mentioned all the ports are udp so what you have to do is you have to click on udp and as you can see, you can specify different ports in a same line. So just click, select 6672, copy this, paste it here. After that, put a comma, come back to this page, copy the second one and second one is 6145. As you can see, they are in order 6145, 456, 57 and 58. So just copy this one, copy and paste it here. Then paste it here again, just change to 5, 6. Then again paste it and change it to 7. And again paste it and change it to 5, 8. And once you have copied all the UDP ports, oh, it is UDP. We selected UDP. How come this changed to TCP? I don't know. But once you have selected UDP, make sure it's on UDP. Click on next. And here click on allow the connection. And again click on next. And here again click on next and give it a name and we'll give it the name GDA5 and finish it. And once you have performed this step, restart your PC and try running your game again and most probably your server issues will be resolved. So all you have to do is follow three steps. The first one is clean booting your PC necessary. Second one again, this works for most of the users. You just have to do dinput 8dll and the third one is port forwarding. So once you've done all these steps, and you have performed all of them one by one and try running the game then most probably your problem will be solved but if you are still experiencing this problem then all you can do is wait for the gta servers to get up so thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day